Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Did you ever have a job that just kind of grew on you? Started out one thing and became something else as time went on? Well, around here that seems to be pretty much the norm. I'm looking at this chest and I'm thinking this hasp really doesn't belong here. That's for a padlock. I'm going to be using the lock, the chest lock that was part of this. And these two hinge straps that are sitting up here I don't like them. I want them gone. So I'm going to cut those off. And I'm going to take this off completely. I'm going to take the hasp loose. And pull it out. And I'm going to fix where this is all chewed up. But that hasp has fallen down in here beat this thing to pieces because I like this lock this little chest lock is is exactly what I want to have in my toolbox this is not going to be traveling from house to house with my carpenter's tools in it that I have to protect from all manner of damage you know falling off the back of the truck or falling off the back of the hay wagon or whatever I use to travel from town to town and this is going to be staying in the, in the workshop downstairs and I can have it be a little bit nicer. It's never going to be a stickly. It's just not going to make it that far. But I definitely don't need to have this big heavy hasp on here that makes it so that it, when you close it, it does this and chews up the top of the cabinet. So this comes off. To make that happen, I need to take this section off. means I'm going to be doing some surgery. There's nails going into the end of this miter. So I'm going to have to take these loose to get this off. And I think to get these cut off, I'm going to need to take the backboard off too. So I'm going to have to remove these perimeter boards, which I think I said earlier I didn't want to do. But it's a mushroom job. It's what happens. Now this is not a pry bar. It's a screwdriver. that has been relegated to the task of being a pry bar because the handle's gone. This one's been nailed 40 ways to Sunday. Now this is going to be a delicate operation to take this apart. I'm going to have to work my way around because this end is nailed that way. This end is nailed that way. And yeah, it's going to be a problem. One of you guys mentioned that this could turn into a can of worms. Well, I can see tails wiggling.
Somebody should have told these people that one nail is more than enough. Because this corner has one, two, three, four, five nails in it. Yep, that is a great plenty. Used to run into that with guys who use nail guns, framing a house. They got the idea that more nails meant it was stronger. So they just bounced the nail gun around until they had four or five nails into the joint. Well, if you're lapping two two by fours together in a 90 degree corner and you put anything more than three nails in it, you're making a weaker joint by adding the extra nails. You're not making it stronger, you're making it weaker. Because all you're doing is splitting the grain all over the place. It's okay, this one's got the nails going this direction, that's good. The roaring you're hearing is the football game over at the stadium, which is just about a quarter mile from here. And it's Friday night in small town America. There's a high school football game in nearly every town that has the opportunity. Now, why would they have the back nailed that way and this side nailed that way? Wouldn't you think they'd have the back and the front nailed the same direction? Choices we make. There. Now if I cut this strap off right there, it'll be buried behind this. Then there's a piece of canvas that goes over the top. Remember, I've got the canvas that goes over the top of this whole thing, which is going to hide most of this that I have here. That'll be interesting.
They certainly did put a bunch of nails in there. Well, I managed to pull the boards off. Seems to be doing just fine on that. Uh, there's some deformation on them. Not terrible, but there is some. But I think it's going to be okay. Uh, but to get all these little finished nails out, I used the vice grips on the one pair, or on the one set of them. And that worked, but I'm going to go get a pair of nail pullers, a hammer with a, a claw hammer with a nail puller on it, and get these out of here. Then I'm going to take this off, and then that will be done. And I'm going to loosen that up and then cut that scrap off. Gaining. Not by leaps and bounds, but we are gaining. Slowly but surely. Don't call me Shirley. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. And while you're here, why not hit the subscribe button? 